We're just at strike recovery. They've been taking care of me this whole fight camp, making sure that I'm injury free. They're amazing. They're two chiropractors, Bernard and Allie, that own it. Yeah, they've just been treating me and keeping, making sure that I'm in tip top form for all my sessions for this fight on July 12th. Okay, that's a human. That's a human animal. <laughs> Yeah, today we're nine days out from the fight. I've got a recovery session at Strike Recovery, and then we're gonna go for a run. Uh, I teach a couple martial arts classes, and then I'm gonna do a spar tonight at six o'clock. like to remember why I started in the first place so keeping that kind of passion alive um, in all my training making sure that it's like this is something that I absolutely love to do even when I'm not training for a fight I'm training and, and making my better myself a better martial artist I think that that kind of zest to learn and and evolve has kept me really sharp yeah like I, I I learn from all my wins I've I pick my wins apart and we break it down and look at ways that I could get better and even my strengths it's like I can always get better with what I'm good at I know what my weaknesses are so the very first thing we did before we started this camp is we looked at okay what aspects of my game do I need to get stronger and and we start building on those and then we also just try to sharpen up all the tools that I already have I've got an amazing team I've been training with them for over 15 years and they know me better than I know myself and I think that having that kind of coaching as well is like, you know, they know they're going to be honest with me and tell me what's up. I think that that's really key. So they'll, they're not afraid to tell me, hey, you look like crap today or like you got to work on this or you got to do better at this. And um, that kind of honesty between us is, is, yeah, I couldn't ask for anything better. I've been doing martial arts for 21 years and it's been a way of life for me and my family. I just think that my skills match up great against her. I think she's well-rounded. She's got good boxing, good wrestling. I but I feel like I've I feel like I'm the most well-rounded 145er in the on the planet. So, yeah. I keep thinking about because like Olga keeps telling me to keep her belt shiny. That was kind of like the first thing that she said. Keep my belt shiny before I started training camp, and I was kind of like. That's extra motivation for me because A, it's my belt, <laughs> and B, this isn't about a belt. This is about 21 years of building my like warrior spirit and being a martial artist. So I take it a lot more seriously than just like a shiny object in my case in my gym, you know? And that's something that, yeah, like I, I think about, it's like, I don't, half the time my belt's tucked away, I don't look at it, I don't think about it, but my number one goal for when I started martial arts was to be a world champion, and, and from being a world champion you get a belt, but this is far more important than any belt. That I think that a lot of people talk about a belt, and I want the belt, this, that, that's my belt, and it's like, I'm not thinking about the belt, I'm thinking about making sure that I do my very best performance and I come out victorious fight night. So they can think about it all they want, but I know what I'm coming for. My name is Julia Budd and I am the featherweight champion of the world. <laughs>